Ooh, hey guys, how's it going? My name is Drew, and there's a sign here in the shopping district. What's this all about? I mean, I think there's a, yeah, there's a sign here. The Tree of Life. We can't break that tree. I don't know who planted that tree. I don't know who put the sign here. But I think I know who put that sign there. It was me! <laughs> All right, guys, so this episode, we're going to be doing our own original store here in the shopping district. The one store that I run right now is the Wow Wood Shop over there that Will PJ built. And a couple episodes ago, I actually kind of took that over. And the sales are doing pretty well. I was just over there checking it. We have some oak that we sold, quite a bit of spruce, and a little bit of jungle, actually, as well. So for this episode, the focus is going to be opening up our store here so i'm going to tell you what it is it's going to be a deep slate store that's what i am actually over in the shopping district for now i was not here to show you that spot i what i really was over here for was i got to go over to Bodie buys and do i have diamonds on me i don't even have diamonds on me but i need to get a couple beacons i'm going to get one for the area that i'm going to where i'm going to be mining out the deep slate and then probably another one for our house. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I actually have to run over to the house real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here are the beacons. And I believe, yeah, so I'm right. It's one block. One diamond. Okay, no, we got to pay in here, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whoop. Woo. Uh, should be right here. Yeah, okay, sweet. So we have a bed here. I'm going to set my spawn. Awesome. So this is where I've been mining. And yeah, so we got, uh, there we go. We got all this deep slate and then we have, oops. Well, we did have a shulker. Maybe I took it. I think I emptied the shulker in one of these. Anyway, but that's okay. All right, guys. So I think the next step for me here is to set up the beacon. And to be honest, I've actually never really set up a beacon before. <laughs> so this is going to be new to me. And I don't know where the best spot to set this up is. Huh? I hope I'm doing this right. Like this? I think it's like this. Uh-oh. This this looks right. Right? Let me do that. Maybe we can go one more layer, but I think for now, this is probably what we need. Oh, no, we can't activate it yet. I hope this is right. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to look this up. I wonder why this is not working. Oh, wait, don't we have to... Yeah, we have to make sure that this is all dug out, right? Okay, so I gotta dig this out to the surface. I should have scaffolding somewhere. Right? Yes, I do. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, no, we have an ocean. Well, now it's uh, working. And we got water flooding down. That's not the greatest. So what can we do about this, I wonder? Do we have glass anywhere? Huh. I got no glass. What about a fence? Maybe a fence will do something. See, let's try this. Let's see if a fence will work. Aha! Aha! Yes! Perfect. So we want to give ourselves haste. Right? Haste 2? Is that what we have to do? Awesome. Okay, now that... Oh. Doesn't really feel much faster. Not much faster than I thought it was going to be. Huh. This kind of... Or do we have to be above it? No. Nope. We're getting the same effect everywhere. Well, I'm not going to lie. I thought this was going to be a lot faster. <laughs> Ah! Yeah, so guys, I'm just going to continue to get a little bit more deep slate, and by a little bit, I'm crossing my fingers for a lot more. And the reason being is because the store that we're going to be making, like the actual building itself, is going to be primarily deep slate. So we're going to be using quite a bit of deep slate for that. And then on top of that, we need a lot of deep slate to sell, too. I'm hoping that it's going to sell fairly well. Uh, but you never know, especially because we're pretty late. Like, we're almost just about ready to wrap up this season of cornerstone because in 1.18 we're going to be doing season two so anyway 
when 1.18 comes out we'll see when we start it we're still talking about it now but anyway i hope uh <laughs> i hope it's still um i hope it's still relevant for us to open up this deep slate shop Alrighty guys, so I'm back here in the shopping district, and right here, you can see that I got four chests, shulker boxes, whatever, of Deep Slate. Um, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more, but in all honesty, that's because I thought the haste was going to be a little bit faster. I'm sure if I used better resources other than, like, iron, I would have got faster haste. Is that how it works? I don't know. Anyway. So I have a little bit more resources here. I'm going to work with a little bit of basalt and acacia logs, which is actually like new to me because I really, really, really don't like the orange wood, but I'm not going to have the orange wood exposed in this build. I just want that nice gray um, log texture. I think that will look pretty nice. I'm going to try to not use as much deep slate as possible, like not, um, how would you put it? I don't want to use a whole shulker box of deep slate and I actually need to get these vines growing a little bit. So I think I'm just going to, I don't know. I'm going to place them. I'm going to place them on Hicks face. <laughs> I'm going to place them on Hicks face. See if we can get a little bit of a vine farm starting. And yeah. So the only reason why I want the vines. Ooh, yeah. Vines growing already is because I want to mix in some more cobble, like mossy cobblestone or mossy stone brick into the build as well. So now we got to try to kind of figure out the shape of this thing. I did a prototype of a build in creative, so that's going to kind of be my reference. But it's probably going to end up becoming its own thing here too. So I don't know. I think I'm going to move these just out of the way a little bit. Just so we have... Try to give ourselves a little bit more room to work with. Here we go. And let's start with this. So I think this is probably going to be the footprint of the build. And I'm thinking on the inside, maybe having the deep slate walls. And then maybe some dark wood texture. So maybe maybe I'm thinking dark oak as the floor. I really don't use dark oak too often. So I'm thinking about maybe having dark oak on the floor and then maybe spruce for the top. But what I think I'm going to do as well is I'm going to keep building these walls with deep slate. And then I'm going to start mixing in some deep slate bricks and cracked deep slate bricks and mossy cobblestone and all that kind of stuff and then we gotta actually we gotta try to work in the acacia here too so i think maybe these corners will be the acacia ah, will be the acacia i have to take off my elytra all right so maybe something like this okay i'm just gonna do a little bit more work then i'm gonna give you guys the update Alrighty guys, so I did some more work here on the building, and I think it's coming along pretty well. It's looking pretty dark, so I think at this point I should probably try to start adding in the stone, just the regular stone. Yeah, I hope it's not too flashy, like I hope the contrast isn't too much. I don't think it should be, right? I think stone and deep slate have been used quite a bit, like, well, maybe it is a little bit. I have a contrast, but we'll find out. We'll see how it looks. So maybe that. Yeah. And let's go to the top with my scaffolding. Haphazardous. And let's do a little bit of this. Just not much. Just just enough to kind of highlight or accent. Maybe accent. Oh, I missed. Maybe accenting is the more, more or less of the word that I'm looking for. Uh-huh. And then, of course, we're going to have some of this covered with vines and bushes as well. So I don't think it's going to really be that big of a deal. We won't even really see this one. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go sleep. Yeah, see, from a distance, this isn't looking too bad, eh? I don't think so. Right. So there's definitely some things that I have to kind of try to figure out, like the corners up here. I don't know exactly how I want these corners to go. Over here, I had the... Yeah, I had those those deep slate brick stairs there. But I don't know if I really like that. Huh. Gotta try something else, maybe. I don't know. 
But where this smooth, is it smooth or polished? Polished basalt. But no, bat, not basalt. Basalt. There we go. I'll pronounce it that way. So where the polished basalt is right there, that horizontal strip, that's exactly where we're going to be putting our banners. So we have 10 banners total, and that's going to be spelling out the name of the shop too. And I guess, I don't know. I'll go get the banners. Okay, so I was going to keep the name of the shop a secret until like the end of the episode when we were ready to open it, but I'm pretty much decided that it's going to be the name of this episode. So this is the name of the store. It's going to be named Cheap Slate, and these are the banners that Nellis made us. And I didn't want to show them in the last episode just to kind of keep it a little bit of a surprise just for humor's sake. Cheap Slate. Like, get it? It's... it. It's like Deep Slate, but we're going to be selling it pretty cheap, too. <laughs> and I want there to be some music in the store as well. So I'm going to have a jukebox in there. I'm going to have some CDs that are optional uh, to play. I just don't know if I'm going to have it on all the time. Uh, maybe just for, like, the grand opening, I guess. Just Oh, oh, there we go. So if, if nobody sees this episode, maybe that's how we can draw some people in. When they come to the shopping district, they'll hear some music and they'll be like, what 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 where's the where's the music coming from that music's so annoying i gotta go turn it off and then they stumble across our store and they're like whoa cheap deep slate more like cheap slate <laughs> all right guys so this is the update on the build i think i'm gonna try to just finish this at this point um i'm gonna get the banners up too and then hopefully when i come back with you guys i will have the finished product and then hopefully we can do a grand opening of this store and I hope I have enough Deep Slate to sell here. <laughs> it's looking like we have enough. <sighs> okay, guys. I've done so much work around here. And I know it might not look like a lot of work, but I've just... I've, I, I don't know. I've done so much work just, like, getting resources and deciding you know, how to decorate this place and putting down the paths and stuff like that. Like, it's such a small project, it seems, but, like, I spent hours and hours and hours working on this. It's crazy. Okay, so I only have a couple more steps left. I can count three. Step one is putting up the sign. Step two is putting down the, the, the foliage around here. I want to plant some trees, and I want to... Plant some grass. That's about it. I already got the paths down and I placed some fences here. So I think this is going to look good when it actually looks a little bit more uh, forest-like around here. So if I go up here and I'm looking at all of the stores around here. We got Jack Shack. We got uh, Hicks Train Shop. We got Bodie Buys and all this kind of stuff. And then we look over. Ah, you can't even see it. Well, I am above the clouds. Okay. That's our shop right there. <laughs> it's pretty small. It's pretty small compared to a lot of other shops around here. But honestly, I think it's all we need. So one thing I also did too is I mixed in a little bit of blackstone here because I will be selling... I don't know which shulker it is. Yeah, uh, no, that's black banners. Anyway, we got blackstone somewhere. I'm going to be selling some blackstone. And it's not going to be much. The main focus of the store is going to be deep slate. And I honestly think that Deep Slate is going to be the best seller in the store as well. And then step three is going to be actually stocking the place. So that's all we have to do. So I think step one is place down the banners. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. Just going to collect the rest of this here. Scaffolding, which is superior to Elytra Wings by... By all standards. Oh, I forgot to take down the shulker. But that's it, guys. Awesome. This is looking great. Nellis did such a wonderful, wonderful job with this. Where did the rest of my tools go? Oh, I put them in the... Sh oh, yeah, I put them in the shulker. That's why. There we go. Okay. Right? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little confused about that. Okay. Awesome, guys. <laughs> this is sick. This is so awesome. We got Chief Slate. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. All right. So next thing I want to do is I want to... I brought some 
some spruce saplings because I was thinking about actually planting down some of the big trees. And I think I kind of want to do that maybe more along, you know, in the back of the build. So maybe one here. And then maybe one... Let's try one maybe right here. I don't know how well that's going to grow. We can try it. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to grow. But how about this one? Ah, but that's an ugly tree. Oh no, that's one of the ugly ones. <laughs> uh. Oh, no, it grew. That's a better... Oh yeah, yeah, that's a much better looking one. I just don't... Ah. Should I chop it down and try again? I don't know. But if we go over here, how do those trees look? I mean, not bad. That's not bad. Okay, actually, let's keep those. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little a little crazy here with the oak saplings and maybe the uh, the birch. So I know these will grow like anywhere. That's that's the that's the best part about these about these saplings. So they'll, they'll literally just pretty much grow wherever you place them. All right. So we got this down. Still no, still no big ones, but that's okay. I got some birch. Let's place down some birch. Maybe one right there. I wouldn't mind actually having this one maybe a little bit closer. Then we'll move this one over. I don't want to obstruct the deep slate sign either. I want everything to be kind of readable. So like that. Like that. Oh, these ones are taller than the oak trees. Huh. Oh, see, we can't, can't really afford to have that one there. Okay. I am using up quite a bit of land, too. I was thinking about that as well. Um, I hope it's not really an issue for anyone. Uh, but I think, uh, I think the land around it, like how we decorate it, really does support the look of the cheap slate store that we have here. So I hope it's okay for most people. Uh, if not, if they really do want to use this land, like, feel free, like, demolish any trees that you, that you want. And, uh, you know, use it to your advantage. Uh, but until then, I think I'm going to try to use it for mine. Maybe placing some moss blocks every every now and then just to try to kind of make everything look pretty good. I really do love these moss blocks and how they, how they really transform the land. I think these are probably, probably the best, the best, um, I don't know what you would call it. I think they're just the best for landscaping. I think they're they're perfect. And then we just got a bunch of bone meal left, so I think I'm just going to use this around the path here. I did break... Uh, I think Hicks was placing them. The, the lamps that are under these, yeah. I did break one, so I do have to replace it. That's why I made this hole over here, because it was right here. And it was exactly where I wanted to build this path, so I kind of tried to move it, and I didn't use my silk touch, and... Yeah, sorry about that, Hicks. I'm going to replace it, I promise. If it was Hicks, if it wasn't Hicks, then whoever whoever placed it, I will I will replace it. Whew. I am hungry. <laughs> okay, and I think honestly, when it comes to the to the the decorating around here, like the landscaping, um, I did have I don't know where they are. They're probably in here. I did have some extra lanterns. There we go. Okay, so here are the lanterns, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all I really want it to use. Here, let's take 32. I think 64 is a little bit too much. Um, and yeah, I think I just kind of want to place these maybe every now and then. Oh, we can place them on the moss. That's awesome. Can we place them on? Nope, can't do that. Oh yeah, okay, so we can do this. So I like doing this a lot too. I think this looks pretty nice. Oh, we got another sapling. Maybe I can plant that somewhere. Take advantage of this. The the tree of life, whoever whoever planted that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and we don't have any oak, but that's okay. Oops. Sorry about that. There we go. And like that. Cool. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, before I sleep, I do kind of want to check this out at night. And it's looking pretty good, I, I would say. And one thing we also have to do as well, it's a little tricky, but we need to turn on the lights here. Perfect. And we got this one. And that one. Perfect. Awesome. So how's this all looking? Cool. <laughs> I need a screenshot of this, guys. This is, this is looking pretty cool. 
Ah, there we go. No, <laughs> no, go away. Ah, go away. I said go away. All right, guys. So now that I'm pretty satisfied with the path and the decoration and the landscaping and the trees and all that kind of stuff, I think now we're probably ready to stock this place. So basically, this is going to be the signs here. It's going to say, welcome to Cheap Slate. And then the other sign is going to say, every stack in this store is going to be one diamond. So it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's, um, I don't know. What do we have here? So all of these stacks here, that's all going to be worth one diamond to us. Same with the Blackstone. And one thing I wanted to point out too, oh, the ore one here. Okay, so we got some ores. I went back and I used some silk touch to get these ores. Each one of these individual stacks here, so the stack of 25, the, the stack of 30, coal, whatever it is, uh, the 10 gold, it's all going to be worth one diamond each. So the 10 gold here is going to be one diamond. The only reason why that is is because I couldn't quite get 64. Like these were actually pretty hard to come by. And even though I thought I saw a lot of them, which I guess for the most part I did, I still didn't really get that much. And I'm not going to be using these. I want other people to have these. Um, we might as well make a little bit of money off it because I got to try to fill. The I got a lot of chests in here. I got to fill them up with something, right? So we're going to have a little bit of ore for sale here. Um, and then basically like, you know, the gold was pretty hard to come by. So that's only, you know, 10 per diamond. The same with the copper or the coal. Whatever, whatever. So, if you get a little bit more out of a diamond, that just means that it was a little bit more common. I did find some diamonds and emeralds. I'm saving those for maybe something else. But, yeah. So, I think I just gotta put up the signs and then I gotta stock this place. And I think we'll we'll call it open. I think we'll call it an episode after that. And just like that, guys, Cheap Slate is done. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever started a project and then finished it all in one episode. But, I mean, we did it. This was a lot of work. This was this was many, many hours to, to get done. But I think I finally, finally got something that I, I can actually show off. And I think I'm pretty proud of on the server. And uh, that would obviously be... Hicks beard right here. It's it's growing in, guys. I, I think this is probably maybe the, the, the greatest thing that we've done. Alrighty, so if we go over here, uh, I have the welcome sign here. Welcome to Cheap Slate. Every stack equals one diamond. So, all scattered around. I got the... I got a little bit of blackstone here. Got some more blackstone here. Got the ores kind of kicking around. And then all around, I just got our... our just random chests full of not full but you know tons of tons of uh deep slate around none of the chests are labeled though i don't know if that's really going to be an issue for anyone we'll see um but yeah if it is I, I don't mind coming in labeling them putting down some signs or some uh item frames i don't mind that at all if people would prefer that but for now i think the shop looks pretty nice as it is so I think the last thing we have to do now is we got to choose a record. I'm going to put this one in. Aw, oh, yeah. And that's the soundtrack for our store here. So this is how we're going to grab some customers, too. Alrighty, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I think next one we're probably going to do a little bit more building. Um, if I can do something like I did this episode where I kind of start a project like this and finish it... I think it's going to be our building in the spawn town. I think that's what we're going to do next episode. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you on the next one of Cornerstone SMP. Peace.